Hi friends and welcome back. Today we're going to spend some time learning about how you and I are connected to all these different countries in the world. It's kind of crazy to think about, but I'm going to prove to you today that things in your house didn't just come from the United States. I bet you you have things from lots of different countries in your house right now. Things you might not have even ever thought about. So let's hang out together today, let's find some things around our house, and let's find where they're from. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this Google Slide presentation called Global Trade. Now here's an interesting quote. Now you might have heard this person's name before. It's, it's a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And the quote is, before you finish eating breakfast this morning, You've depended on more than half the world. And I'm going to read that again. Before you finish eating breakfast this morning, you've depended on more than half the world. I want you to pause the video and think for a moment what you think that quote might mean. And then when you're done thinking, go ahead and turn the video back on. Okay, friends. So when you think about this quote, really what he's talking about is the fact that just from eating breakfast, there's already all of these different countries that you've had in contact with. Whether it was the different food items you ate, whether it was the bowl, plate, or spoon that you ate off of, whether it was the um, toothbrush that you used to brush your teeth, um, any of the products that you used to get ready in the morning. There's all these things that are connected to you and I that are in our world from different countries. Okay. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to prove it to ourselves today. Okay? We're going to do what's called a product sort activity. And so you're going to sort items and classify them based on whether they're a food, a textile, which means clothing, or an electronic. If you have something that doesn't fit into food, clothing, or electronics in your house, you can put it in the fourth category, which is called other. Then you're going to write down what the item is on a product tag. And then you're going to find out where is that item from? What country is it from? And the last step will be to locate that country and attach the product tag to the world map. Now, a lot of steps, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do, so don't panic, okay? Okay, so you're going to print out, or you can do it digitally, these product tags, okay? And so I did an example for you. So I noticed that I had a banana in my kitchen and on the tag, a little sticker on the banana, it said it is from Mexico. So I write banana Mexico, okay? So I have food items. I have like my cell phone, it could be a television, a computer, any electronics that you have in your house, you can name them. And then also what country they're from. So you're looking at the product labels they will tell you where the countries are from. So you do not need to research anything to find out where your products are from. If you pick up something in your house and it doesn't have a label, then just go choose something else, okay? Now, I'm gonna share with you what it might look like. I have this shirt in my closet. So I took the shirt out of my closet and then I looked and on the tag, it actually says made in see if you can see that. Let me get the focus for you, friends. Sorry. I know sometimes it's hard to see. Okay. It says made in India. Okay. I know it's a little bit unclear, but I promise it says made in India. So on mine, on my paper, on my product tags, what I did was I wrote down shirts from India. Okay. And you're going to do that for as many items as you can around your house. Again, if it does not fall into the category of food, electronics, or textiles, which means clothing, then you can put it down here um, in the other tags, okay? So then the last step will be, so you're going on your product hunt, you're finding what countries they're from and listing them. The last thing you're going to do then for this activity is you have a map of the world. And you can, if you're using paper pencil, you're going to cut it, excuse me, you're going to print out your product tags and you're going to print out this map. Then you will cut out these on the dotted line and you're going to attach them where that product is from onto this paper. If you're doing it digitally, like I am, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this, okay, and I'm going to do my CTRL or Control C, and I'm going to put it on my map where it goes. I'm going to paste it, okay? And I know this is from India. Let me get a little bit smaller. And so I'm going to put that I have a shirt from India, okay? And so when you're finished with this, it's likely that you will find that you have tags in different parts of the world. It's kind of interesting. I've done this activity in class before, um, and we found it interesting to note that there's a lot of times that like a lot of our shirts and things, our clothing in our, in our classroom, came from the same area of the world. Um, and it wasn't the United States, which was pretty interesting. We noticed a lot of electronic items, like our calculators and things, were from a particular part of the world. So your job right now is to turn off the video, go ahead and complete this activity, looking for different products and putting them on your map, and then when you're ready to continue, you're going to go ahead and start the video back up, and then we'll resume where we left off. See you soon, friends. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed that activity, and I'm hoping that you're seeing that there are lots of different countries throughout the world that you and I have contact with, and we have already have contact with them because we have those items in our homes. So we're going to do a couple of vocabulary words today just to make sure that we know what these words mean when we hear them. And the first word is import. An import is when you bring goods and services in from another place. So my shirt from India, it had to have been imported, it means into the United States in order for me to have purchased it from a store. The opposite of an import is an export, and that's when we send goods and services out to another place. So if we make a product in the United States and we ship it to another country like China to sell it, then that is considered an export of the United States. Another word is the word produce, and that means to make or to grow something. So we might produce corn in the United States. That means we grow, we grow it, okay? Um, or we might make cars. We might produce cars in the United States, which means we make them. Now the last word for this moment is consume, and consume means to buy or use or to use up. So I am going to consume that banana from um, this morning that I shared with you that was from Mexico. So I consume, that means I'm using that particular banana. I'm also a consumer of that shirt because I plan to use that shirt, okay? So we have a short video to watch and then we're gonna do a couple more words just to make sure, like I said, that we know what words we're talking about in this unit. for a moment, and I want you to think about your neighborhood. How do you and the people who live around you all depend on each other? Did you make the streets you use every day? Are your teachers at school your neighbors? What about your food? Did your family grow it all? Did your family build where you live? Where did everything you enjoy every day come from? Thanks to something called a specialization, the world we live in is far better than what it used to be. Specialization is where people become really good at certain things so others can focus on other things. So, for example, someone might be really good at making houses while another person is good at growing food. The food grower sells his food to people like the builder and then uses the money they make to buy a new house. Cities and countries also trade in the same way. For example, there's a lot of fruit that we can't grow here in the United States that is grown instead in places like South America. So we trade things like technology with the South Americans who trade us food. Have you ever looked into what your state makes that they send out throughout the world? Whenever that happens, it's called exporting. When your state brings in stuff, it's called importing. Using importing and exporting, different cities and countries can take advantage of what the world can offer. 
Can you imagine what life would be like without things like bananas or the newest video game from Japan? Thanks to specialization and trade, by working together, we can all make the world a better place. Okay, friends. So we have just a couple more words, and some of them were mentioned in that video. One of those words is specialization. That's the pr process of becoming good at doing or making something so that others can focus on other things. So for example, a lot of electronics come from the country of China. They tend to specialize in electronics. So because they're really good at doing that, that allows people in other countries to spend time making other products and goods. Another word is trade. Trade means to buy and to sell goods and services. And the last word, interdependence. Interdependence is when we rely on others, and others also rely on us to get the things we need and want. I like bananas. I apparently am dependent on Mexico to get my bananas because that's where they came from. I like that shirt that I bought. It's something that I want. It's not something I need, but it's something I want is that shirt. It's from India. So I have an interdependence with India for that particular item. Okay? Other countries depend on the United States for particular exports too. And we'll learn more about that throughout our unit. What you're going to do today is make a copy of this Google slide called the Interdependence Exit Ticket. And you're going to be thinking about all the things that we talked about today as well as the product tag activity that you completed. You're going to list three countries that our everyday items came from. What are three countries that when you did that activity, you realize, man, I have things from those three countries in my own house. What are two objects that are examples of interdependence in our everyday lives? For me, I would list banana and shirt. Those are two objects that I know I got from a different country. And then also, what's one thing that surprised you about an item during your product sort activity? So three countries that our everyday items come from, two objects, that are examples of the interdependence in our day, everyday lives, and one thing that surprised you during that activity. So you'll complete this and submit it in Canvas, and then we'll meet back here tomorrow. Bye, friends.